I don't know what our life has in store for us. But I do know that I promise to always have a backseat on my motorcycle for you. I'll always chase after you when you stomp away, man. Tell you you're beautiful when your face is red after running. Love you even more with no makeup on. Promise to love you and take you golfing even when you break your brand new clubs. Be understanding when you get us to the airport three hours early. Mostly to be vulnerable with you. Hold your hand while praying in church. I'll try never to be complacent and do I'll try never to be complacent and do new things with you. And most of all, I promise to faithfully love you and give you my entirety for the rest of my life and remind you of this promise every day. I am yours. Do you accept these vows from Stephen? I do. But I do know that I promise to love your salt and pepper beard and hair when we get old or for you now. <laughs> I promise to always try and communicate respectfully to you and not run away mad. I promise to add aloe to your skin when you get burned. To love and comfort you when your raiders lose to my chargers. I vow to kiss you and look at you the way you look at me even when you have a mustache. I will always consider your opinion even when you're wrong. Just kidding. I promise to always make decisions based on us and not on me. I vow to always kiss you before I go to work early in the morning. Respect you and support you in anything you try to do. And most of all, I promise to faithfully love you and give you my entirety for the rest of my life and remind you of this promise every day that I am here. Our chance, take it now.
Welcome, family and friends. <laughs> We'd like to begin by saying how wonderful it is that you all are here. Most of you have traveled a great distance to be a part of this ceremony. Your efforts are proof of just how much this union between these two beautiful souls means to all of us. Marriage is many things. It is unending support for each other. It is compromise in the face of adversity. It is putting forth the effort every day and every moment to keep the relationship healthy and strong. Colossians 3.14 tells us, and above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Falling in love is one of the greatest achievements we can make in life. It completes us, it makes us whole. It focuses our light on the best parts of us, our empathy, our compassion, our connection to another. It proves that we are not islands in this world. We are meaning incarnate. Meaning is not some treasure to be sought and found. It's created by us in every moment, with every breath, every word we speak. And there is no greater meaning to create than love. Marriage is not something we stumble upon. Marriage is not something frivolous. Marriage is in fact the most sacred union in which two souls can join together. Here before you stand two people so deeply in love that they cannot help but wish to create lives together, to stand with, with each other through all the trials of life, with unending support for each other to create the meaning of life with every breath and every word they speak to each other. This is the most beautiful and important accomplishment that two people can achieve together. And I cannot think of two people more ready and apt to the challenges and rewards this union will bring. And as it is said in the book of Jeremiah, love yesterday, today, and forever. Stephen and Jess, by the power vested in me by the state of Hawaii, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah.